to get this done. What are you fucking doing? Whoa, go! He has plenty of room. All right, let's take you down to the marina, guys. Go check it out a little bit, see what it's like. Before it starts to rain. Bring on the rain. But yeah, this is their brand new marina they just built. I'm in gear. So what I figured I'd do is I'd mosey on over here and do a, let's say a six or seven month review here on my 2007 Kawasaki Ninja 250. Just show it off, talk about it, and uh, yeah, just basic old stuff. Oh yeah. So there we go guys, check it out. I want to do a short little six month, seven month review now of ownership. I can't believe I've been riding for about seven months now. And uh, it just, I've been having a blast ever since. And you know, everybody kept saying, why don't you get a newer bike? And then some people say, no, you did a good job with the older bike. But I, I cannot have any complaints about this. Yeah, she's not the prettiest, newest girl at the ball. She has the old school design. But you know what? Because of that, it was a much cheaper bike to get into. The insurance is cheaper. Everything about this was just cheaper because she was an older girl. But she only had 2,200 miles. So let's do a, just a quick, brief overview about uh, this little 2007 and previous years uh, Kawasaki Ninja 250. She's absolutely perfect starter bike with a 250 engine. Uh, you really can't get yourself into trouble unless you do do something ridiculously stupid. You can gun out the floor, uh, the throttle when you're out there, and she's not going to kick up on you. You know, I know you could probably like rev it in the sec first or second gear and gun it like that, and drop the clutch, and you might go up. But in reality, you're more than likely not going to be doing that. You're going to be doing proper stuff. Uh, like I said, again, she's an older design, so she doesn't have sexy new looks. She doesn't have the new, the extra 50 cc's like all the newer uh, vehicles out there have, and all the new bikes. She doesn't have the new front end, you know, or anything. But you know, nobody's really gonna know. And at the same time, who really wants to steal a 250 Ninja, an old school Ninja? If they're gonna go for a newer one, that's fine. So here's what I'm trying to get to the point, as guys. She's older. She doesn't have all the fancy digital gauges, you know, like all that everybody else sees on it. You have no gas gauge here, so you got to kind of set the trip meter here and figure out how many miles of tank you're going to get. Or actually use your noggin and get in there and look at it. But for the most part, it does everything I've needed to do as a basic beginner's bike. And that's all I've ever wanted, you know. I needed something cheap to get my foot in the door. I paid just under $2,000 for this thing. And I mean, it had 2,200 miles. How could I complain about anything else? You know what I mean? It's just like, it'd be stupid, you know, and also you'll have a lot of people just hating on a Ninja 250. But the thing is, if you're buying it for under $2,000, well, guess what? You don't have payments. Hopefully at $2,000, you don't have payments. Let's see if they can figure out how to use this uh, roundabout. But yeah, it, you know, at that cheap, you don't have payments. And the better part is because you bought it used... And you're going to want to move up to that 600 in about six months or, or more. That's where I'm at now. I want to go to 600, but financially just don't want to take on a payment right now. The fact is, when you go to sell this in six months to a year because you spent so little on an older version of it, you will easily get the same money back that you put in, if not more, if you really got your guy that you bought it from down even lower. I mean, I just, I don't see the point why people hate on them. There's no need for it. So it, if you're looking at one of these older school 250 Ninjas, or maybe you're looking for your first bike, don't count the Ninja 250s out. These designs last for, what, 20 years? I think it held on to something about 20 years. They, I've heard they've been using these motors since the 80s. The motors are so solid. They've been running them that long because they were that good of a design. I mean, holy crap, yeah, you don't have the gas gauge. Yeah, you don't have a gear shift indicator. You don't have a digital cluster. You've got to use your brain and look in here, or use your trip meter. But, uh, you know, I don't see a problem with that. Check out the Kasumi Monuments. And, of course, the lady in the dress for all you guys. But, you know, I just don't see the problem in any of that. But yet, you're going to see so many people that are going to dog this thing. So, as we uh, wander around these back roads, and I don't know really where I'm going, I felt like I should make a little bit of a quick little review. Nothing basic. But for what I have personally needed, she's treated me like an angel. 
And I know because I paid so little for it when I go to sell it this uh, around the Christmas season that I'm easily going to be able to pull the same amount of money that I put into it. So to me, it was like almost a rental car. You got to learn everything on this vehicle and you weren't out any money. If you were to go buy a brand new 300 today, what are any one of the new uh, hot little ones that are five grand, and you turn around and sell it, you're only going to get about 3000 something for it, guys. Go in understanding you're going to take an ass whooping. And you're not going to want to keep it anyways. Most people don't want to keep these bikes. They want to move up to that full 600 and then later on 1000 like I am. Everybody told me so. Why would you want to get anything more than 250 if you're going to keep it for six months to a year? Shit. This is where it's at, guys. This is where you need to be buying it. So, that's my two cents. It does great. The miles per gallon is amazing. 60 to 70 miles a gallon. Holy flipping cow. Just enough power to get you by without getting yourself in trouble. Holy shit, don't go until you see clear. I mean, I don't know. Get, get yourself one of these old bad boys. Who cares what it's like? I don't have any hated hatred out here on the streets. Everybody's just like, oh, cool. Is that? I would actually ask me, is that a 500? Because they nobody knows. The style's now getting older, where it's like, you know, eight years old. Nobody knows what it is anymore. They're just like, oh, is that a 500? So I'm like, no, it's a 250. And they're like, oh, cool. So anyways, guys, I'll leave you with a little, little bit of a short review. I'm sure I forgot a lot of things because, you know, when you're just out here, you forget a lot of stuff. So I apologize for that. Anyways, guys, if you ever have any questions about these older school 250 Ninjas, do it. But if I were you, you know, when you were looking at the 08, 09 Ninjas when they changed the front end body style, don't spend more than $2,500 cash. Try and get them closer to $2,000 because you're not going to want to keep it. You're going to want to upgrade it sooner than later. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you like this little bit of a short review after six months of riding this bad boy. Well, seven months now. Wow. Time flies when you're having fun. So anyways, guys, if you did like it, a little review bit of a review make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me subscribe and share my videos and i will see you guys at the very next video from beautiful 95 degree kissimmee florida later y'all